Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. In this session, I shall give you the introduction to transform and conquer technique and also AVL trees. So when is this transform and conquer technique? As you have already learned previous methods, previous methodologies or approaches to solve different problems like the greedy approach, the divide and conquer approach, the brute force approach. So this, well, there is another approach called as the transform and conquer technique. So this technique is used when the original problem is too difficult to solve directly. And moreover, there are three ways of applying this transform technique. First one is the instance simplification. So when are you going to use this method? Whenever the problem is too difficult to solve directly, you can convert that into a more simplified form, more manageable form. But definitely you have to take care that you are not changing the problem. For example, in this case, you can take pre-sorting because most of the time the problems are easily solved when the list is sorted whether it is searching median for the selection problem or checking if all the elements are distinct that is the element uniqueness problem or in topological sorting there is one more way of applying the transform and conquer approach this is called as the problem reduction so how exactly you are carrying out in the problem reduction so in problem reduction you are going to transform it into a different problem for which an algorithm is already available here the problem is difficult to solve so what you are trying to do is you are transforming into a different problem and you are trying to see for which an algorithm is already available the third approach is the representation change here you are going to give a different representation of the same instance so in this case you can take the example for the binary tree if you see in the binary tree what exactly is happening is the elements are not placed in a proper order at any point of time the searching an element or deleting an element or inserting an element is going to take much of the time as the elements are not in organized way for that reason you are going to convert this in, into a binary search tree so in the binary search tree you are going to organize the elements in a proper order all the elements that are placed towards the left side of the root node or the parent node is lesser and the elements that are placed towards the right or right side of the parent node or the root node are greater so in this way you are going to change the representation this is an example wherein you can see this representation change technique of the transform and conquer method so this transformation from a set to a binary search tree is an example of the representation change but what do we gain by such transformation compared to the straightforward implementation here we gain the time efficiency because if you look into the time efficiency for the binary search tree the time efficiency for searching inserting an element deleting an element are all in theta log n but only in the average case the topics which you are going to learn under the transform and conquer technique the first one is about the avl tree the second is the two to three trees so in this session i shall give you the introduction to the avl tree why exactly are we going for this avl tree so before that you start with the binary tree first and foremost thing what we have seen in the binary tree is that elements are not organized not ordered and inserting an element deleting an element or searching an element all these operations on the binary tree are too difficult to carry out the next is you are going to transform it into binary search tree so you go for the binary search tree and in binary search tree how are you going to place the elements suppose the list of elements are like this 8 3 10 1 6 14 4 7 13 for example if this is the list of elements then how do you construct the binary search tree you take the first element 8 next 3 which is lesser than 8 you place towards the left side and next 10 which is greater than 8 you place towards the right side 1 is lesser than 3 6 is greater than 3 14 is greater than 10 4 is less than 6 7 is greater than 6 13 is less than 14 so this way you have constructed the binary search tree this is one of the resulting tree from the given elements you may have trees of this sort also we say a tree which is having what just two levels here so this is one okay and this is another level so two levels are there in the resulting binary tree 
Sometimes in the binary tree itself you may not have two levels but it may result into many number of levels. For example, if your elements are, now if you take the same elements whatever I have taken in the, this example, suppose if the elements are like this 14, 13, 10, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 1. Now look here the same elements whatever I had taken in this example if I am just changing the order of the elements and trying to construct the binary search tree the resulting binary tree will be like this. So if the resulting binary tree is in this form then searching an element is going to take more time. Suppose if you want to search an element 1 the element 1 is appearing here you have to traverse from this node until you reach the bottom node. So this is simply like the linear search only and the time complexity of the linear search is what theta of n. So what we are observing is in case of binary search tree the time complexity can be theta of n also in the worst case or it can be in this example if you see it is theta of log n. So now the conclusion is in case of binary search tree you may have time efficiency as theta of log n okay for average case or theta of n for the worst case. Height of the tree also depends on the order of the elements in which it is placed as we have seen that in both the examples in one example we saw the height of the tree is 2 whereas in this example if you see the height of the tree is n minus 1. So this problem can be solved by two approaches first one is the avial tree and the second one is the two to three trees. The first approach is of the instance simplification. The second approach two to three trees is of the representation change. Here that is why these two topics avial tree and two to three trees they come under the method transform and conquer. The first approach avial tree approach in this approach an unbalanced binary search tree is transformed into a balanced one property these trees are called as self balancing. So avial tree it sees that the difference between the heights of the left and the right subtrees of every node never exceed 1. If you look into this node here you have 1 and here you have 1. So the height is left is 1 and right is 1 1 minus 1 0. So it is not exceeding 1. Next if you take this example here you have 1 and this one you have 2, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, so it is not exceeding 1. Then here if you check, here you have 2, 2 minus 1, 2, 3, it is minus 1, it is not exceeding 1. So this way we say the avial tree is a self-balanced tree. Now whenever we see an unbalanced binary search tree, we are going to balance it by using the that is these are the operations that can be performed on the unbalanced binary search tree in order to make it into a balanced tree and that balanced tree is called as the avial tree. So in simpler words we can say that every node is having a balance factor and the balance factor will have only three values either it can be 1 or it can be 0 or it can be minus 1. Suppose if you take for example so for example you take this tree and you try to find the balance factor for each node. So balance factor is always what it is the difference between the height of the left subtree and the right subtree for a node. For every node you can calculate the balance factor. Start from the root node or you can start from the leaf node. In this case there is only one node so there is nothing towards the left side there is nothing towards the right side so the balance factor is 0. Now if you take this node 20 here you have 1 and here you do not have anything. So 1 minus 0 towards your left it is 1 and towards your right it is 0 so the balance factor is 1 you can check here it is acceptable next if you take this child node okay 2 you do not have anything towards the right or uh, towards the right or left so the balance factor is 0 then when you come to this node 4 towards the left there is one edge so we say for, see in order to find the height you have to check the edge there not the node so there is one edge there is nothing towards the right side so it is for the node 4 the balance factor is 0 minus uh, sorry uh, for the node 4 the balance factor is 
1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 yes acceptable next if you take this leaf node it is 0 fine towards this there is nothing so towards the left there is nothing so for node 7 it is 0 minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is there here so this is also acceptable now coming to the node 5 you have 1 2 towards the left 1 2 towards the right 2 minus 2 it is 0 so the node 5 has got a balance factor 0 it is acceptable next comes the root node or the parent node the parent node has got towards its left side three edges minus of towards its right side it has got two edges three minus two one so it is one here it is acceptable so this way you have seen that the balance factor for every node should always be either one or zero or minus one any point of time if you have a value greater than this then you are going to balance it this whatever i have shown this example is what it is an avl tree because it is a balanced tree if i have to show you one example wherein the tree is not balanced for example you take this one 10 there is one node parent node 10 towards the left side there is one node towards the right side there is one node here you have one node here you have one node here and here suppose if this is the case now you try to compute the balance factor for each node this is 0 here you don't have anything so it is uh, 0 minus 1 minus 1 is acceptable then here it is 0 here you don't have anything so it is 1 minus 0 it is 1 then for this node 5 node 5 this side you have 2 and this side you have 2 edges the heights are 2 minus 2 so the left subtree has got a height of 2 the right subtree has got a height of 2 the balance factor for node 5 is 0 and here if you see this is the leaf node so it doesn't have anything towards its left and right so the balance factor is 0 now coming to the parent node or the root node if you see here 1 2 3 towards the left side that is the height of the left subtree is 3 whereas here towards the right side you have only one edge that means the height is only one three minus one is two so this is what is an unacceptable number and we say this tree is not a balanced tree definitely this is a binary search tree but it is not an avl tree so the main aim here is to see that this binary search tree is transformed into either avl tree or the two to three tree so in binary search tree what we have seen is if the time complexity can be theta of log n or it can be what theta of n now let us see what will be the time complexity in case of avl tree and what will be the time complexity for the 2 to 3 tree so in summary you can remember like this i am writing it as binary tree next circle i am representing it as binary search tree and the inner circle i am representing it as avl tree binary tree binary search tree and avl tree means what a binary search tree can be the binary tree fine but the other way around the binary tree may or may not be the binary search tree similarly an avl tree can be the binary search tree but the binary search tree may or may not be the avl tree so once again i'll repeat a binary search tree can be a binary tree fine the other way around that is the binary tree may or may not be the binary search tree similarly an avl tree can be the binary search tree whereas a binary search tree may or may not be the avl tree so this is all about the introduction to the transform and conquer approach and the avl tree so let us see in detail in my next session about the avl trees hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care